points. It is awesome to be here. Look, we all know that tomorrow Michigan is going to step up. We're going to save our state. We're going to save our country. The whole world is watching us, and we're going to do our job. I stand here incredibly proud to be your nominee for the U.S. Senate. And I have the pride and responsibility to be trying to fill the shoes of the great Debbie Stabenow. She has served our state for 50 straight years. She got elected at 24 years old. She has been in there. She's an amazing woman. She's in Grand Rapids right now because Donald Trump is there. She's leading the fight to push back in those final messages in Grand Rapids. Running through the tape. But I just want to say something. I know it's raining, so you get the, the blessing of, of politicians uh, giving short speeches when it's raining. I just want to say something. We all know that our country has been going through something, right? We all know that this is not how we want our politics to be. To the young people in the crowd, I am sorry that you have watched your country, you have learned politics over the last eight years, thinking about it just being divisive and angry and vitriolic. In Michigan, that's not how it ever was. My dad was a lifelong Republican, my mom a lifelong Democrat, and we were more likely to fight Michigan versus Michigan State than we were about politics growing up, right? Go green. Go green. There we go. Thank you. I know. I know. I know. I shouldn't have done it. Okay. But my point is, we have an opportunity to change the course of our country. We have an opportunity to come out of this period of political instability and show the world that we are better than our current politics represent. We have that opportunity. So we're going to do our jobs. But I just want to say, each and every one of you are sitting here in the rain the night before the election on a Monday night because you love your country and you want it to be better. We love our country. So wear your patriotism on your sleeve. Carry the flag, wear it proudly, and don't give an inch to the pretenders on the other side who wrap themselves in the damn flag and then spit on the values that it represents. Not an inch. Not an inch. So it is my honor to be with you here tonight. My whole family's over there hanging out. There we go. Got my family members, all the cousins, all my brothers, everybody's in town because we know how important Michigan is and we know what our job is. So thank you for caring about your community. Thank you for caring about your country. Thank you. And one more time, not just me, one more time, when we vote. Thank you, Michigan. Thank you, Detroit.